Hello everybody, this is Val, but this is how you do it. And I uh, just came from the Dollar Tree. I don't normally do one of this type of video, not with me driving and well, I got the I got a electric fuel pump, so I gotta let it sit for a while. I went to the doctor, got a checkup, you know, got to keep myself together, even though I be doing stuff with Willing. And um, I got to go back in another month and then three months after that. But that's neither here nor there. So, um, but I'm going to show you what I did pick up from the Dollar Tree. This is a Dollar Tree haul. I got some fish oil, some vitamins, and then I picked up some women essential vitamins also. And I also picked up some bobby pins for my hair and Willie hair. We both can use those. And I got me some baby wipes. I didn't get these wipes out of the facial section. I got this at the baby section. It's 70 wipes in there. And a woman can use a wipe anywhere, if you know what I mean. So, got some wipes. And I spent $8.80, by the way. Um, I was going to try this. I haven't tried this before, but this is Fresh Lavender Body Foam. And so, I'm going to a lot of bubbles in some bath water and relax honey that's what that's all about relaxing for a dollar and I got me some more conditioner that's some cheap, some inexpensive cheap conditioner that'll work on this hair and I can use as much as I want and sometimes a girl just don't feel like a lady she got to get the mini stick mmm some that work. That's what that is. <laughs> and I got me a dollar uh, color easy dye. You know, getting prepared for that time where in case I need it, I'll have it. So everything I got is kind of like stuff I need to use. And I'm going to see what this car crank up. I don't drive it much, so we go now I put the seatbelt on y'all wear your seatbelt mm. couldn't hurt and I'm just gonna let this film go and uh, I'm, if it stop it's gonna stop when it stops cuz I'm more than nine minutes away from the house and this um my um chip don't only last for nine minutes I'm not listening to any music. I really don't like the radio. Let me see what's on anyway. I don't normally listen to it. I, if, it if it's on, it'd be turned all the way down. Oh, but that sounds like something I used to at the house. Listen to that. Yeah, I listen to that. I turn it down because I don't want YouTube bugging me about no damn copyrights. They get on my nerves with that. And my thing is, if they gonna put it on the radio, that means it's for the public to hear. And if I'm advertising for them, that's letting people know that are, are my fan base. And they say, well, they I'll listen to that. So that's advertisement for them. So these people just get on my nerves with this craziness. But I'll turn it down. I like I like my doctor. She's very nice. She has um, naturally curly hair. Uh, that when she was little, she had to uh, she wet her hair with grease and water, and so and I told her mine's had to be worked to this this way. And she liked mine. And she asked me how did I get my curl pattern to look like this. And I told her what I did. Well, I used conditional oil and water. And so. And told her to be heavy handed with the conditioner, so I gave her a prescription and use olive oil. And cause she said she had got that wing, wing, a wing that commercial that come on. She said when she bought that conditioner stuff, she paid over a hundred dollars for it. She said she didn't like it cause it didn't lather up. 
because she used to use the soap and I told her we don't need soap on our hair to make our hair if we want our hair to be curly especially just starting now you may venture off into soaps later on but when you're trying to get your hair hydrated and do what you need to do to get those curls you need to avoid the soap that's my experience I don't I'm not I'm not bringing up a debate of whether curly girls use soap or not which they do but still I don't understand that all I know is that when I was using soap my hair was nappy and so and it was it was stripping to my hair so I had I had to I, I got curls by using conditioner only now that I have the curls if I use soap I don't think that uh, my hair will revert back to the nappy state because I know how to get it to curl up now and once you have knowledge knowledge is half the battle so I believe I could shampoo my hair now and still uh, time I get through shampooing my hair, if I want to uh, cleanse my scalp, I can throw a whole bunch of, like a, a fistful of conditioner back in my hair and put oil in my hair and, and then put the stuff in it that will cause my hair to, to stay curly. Just come in like the shower will stay curly. And then don't put a blow dryer in it and dry it out time I get through doing all that. If I'm going to use a, something as harsh as a shampoo in my hair. Keep the moisture in it. Don't be trying to dry it out with no blow dryer or no underneath, sit on a hood dryer. That's just too much at one time. But like I say, that's neither here or there. Aunt, I can bet y'all say, girl, you're sitting up so straight. I'm sitting up straight so y'all can see me. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness. Well. looking like this. I kind of forgot it. my appointment was today. I was at home watching Godzilla. Godzilla. And uh, I put that thing on pause because I was watching it on uh, Watch It TV. And um, and I did watch that movie with um, um, Angela Lee, Joe Lee in it when she was playing that, uh, the, that thing, that fairy with the wings or whatever she was playing. That was pretty good. I fell asleep on it. I had to rewind that and watch it twice. So I said, getting out the house did your girl good. Now, Valdis, which is my middle son, the ones in Birmingham that y'all saw doing all the cooking and stuff, the chef and the military man, he um came down after his trip to the Bahamas, you know. His wife was at the house with me and we, we did a little, I did a little cook for his birthday. You know, cooked him a little some some. And then the next day, was it the same day? The next day, yeah, that was Tuesday. He took me to the movies. Now, I saw that movie with, um, um, what is that guy named? That old guy that, that uh, do Scientology, uh, the one that played Mission Impossible. What is his name, y'all? Um, His, well, I can't say I like his movie. I avoid his movies most of the time, but that's the movie my son was going to. They was going to the action pack movie. And um, so we went to see that movie. It's called Yesterday or The Day. Um, he kept resetting time. He died and he, um, and once he died, he came back and he had to relive that that day over again, so to speak. Well, that's what's the that's the plot of the story. So if you, that's not a spoiler alert, that's just that if he um that's just the um the story plot. I mean, you can watch a trailer on it and they'll tell you that's the story plot. So I think it was a pretty good movie. Uh, it was about you know him fighting aliens and stuff of that nature, and by him reliving the day. That mean he knew where they were gonna be at a certain time, so that was good. Uh, I'm trying to think of his name. The one that jumped on the couch when he talking about, I love my wife, I love my wife on the open river couch. Uh, I'm trying to make y'all know who he is. Yeah. And he the new Mission Impossible man, so. the movie. 
um, my son took his best girls out to a movie and then he took us to a ice parlor. Have you ever heard of such a thing, y'all? A place where you go get ices. Now, I end up getting the blue ice um, and some um, I got some mango ice and cotton candy. Now, I put the mango ice in the bottom of the cup, a scoop of that, and I put the um, cotton candy in the middle, which was fabulous. Cotton candy, oh, that was good. And then I put the um, the blue ice on top. So I was eating that stuff, girl, don't you know? In the back right here on my throat, it started getting cold right up in there. And you know, I was like chump, 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 eating it up because it was something sweet and you know I've been on this old fun ass diet that I'm on and anything sweet is just good to me and you know them things that I got um, them moments or moments that candy snack that I, sh I showed y'all I was eating I bought three bags of them I'm, I'm gonna show, show y'all a picture on when I get to the house maybe so I gotta, I gotta um, do an update on that anyway so I had the guy went and bought me some of that stuff. That stuff was good. And that ice was good. And the movie was good. The company was good. We almost had the theater to ourselves. Going to the theater in the middle of the week. I told my son, I said, now this is nice. This make you feel rich. You got the whole theater to ourselves. We was the first ones walk in and we could pick our seat. We got right in the middle, y'all. The middle of the aisle. And but you know, up a little bit, but it's back dab in the middle and then there's some more people came in like two came in right there two came in the back two came in on the side it's kind of nice having the whole place to yourself and they, they playing a movie just for you I said I was going to do a review on it I should just still have the ticket stubs in my pocket I want my best I should still have them because he let me keep all the, all the ticket stubs